What's going on guys, back with a 12 booster box breakdown. We're gonna go through all the hits that we got and see how we did. This is box number one, the one that you guys saw in the last video. Highlights being the two amazing rares and a rainbow rare beauty. So the last box had 10 hits, this one had 11, which is one of the better ones. Highlights being obviously the two amazing rares and a rainbow rare toad kiss VMAX. Got ourselves another 11 hit box. This one special being the Leon Full Art, which is pretty rare. And obviously the two amazing rares. These are all actually from the same case as well, and you're gonna see why that's important soon, because this case is centering for the amazing rares is really good. But you'll see with the next case, eh, questionable. Box number four being another 11 hit box with the Rainbow Rare Leon. Can't complain with that one, it's pretty good. And a secret rare cape of toughness. Pretty banging box. So we got one of our first nine hit boxes. Still can't complain, got a Rainbow Galarian Darmanitan, so it's pretty good. And a full art colossal. I like it, I'm digging the purple on that card. It looks pretty cool. Box number six with an even 10 hits. It was nice to get a Pikachu VMAX and a gold Galarian Obstagoon. So, so far, every box has been pretty good out of this case. And the centering on these two is still pretty good. So, this is box number one out of the first case I opened. The other one was the second case. A nice even 10 hits. Got the Alakazam Full Art, a Drapion V Full Art. Unusual to get two full arts in a box, but it's still pretty cool. But then I guess you replace it with a VMAX, but we've got a VMAX there as well. So, decent box, not the best, but it's a pretty decent box. This one centering on these, they are these ones are actually kind of okay. So if you, if you want to have a look here, but you can tell on both of them, the left hand side border is bigger than the right hand side. You can see that this one's quite thick. And this one over here is pretty thin. Raikos is closer, but it's still noticeable. Another 10 hit box being box number two out of the case. This one's kind of on the lower end of the hits because both of these are the lowest value amazing rares and none of these are spectacular. Pikachu's all right, but the rest of them, eh. But hey, you can't win them all, can you? Now this is one of the best boxes I reckon. Even though it's only 10 hits, which is the average, it's got the two best amazing rares. It's got the secret Oranguru and a rainbow rare Nessa. So can't really complain. Oh, throwing a Pikachu VMAX and a beauty full art. Doesn't, doesn't get much better than that. Another box on the slightly lower end, still average of 10 hits, but the two worst amazing rares. But it's not too bad. Uh, here we go. Here's where I was talking about the center in as well. These were one of the first two boxes I opened. So if you have a look at Nazassian, look at how off center this is. Look at the size of this left hand border compared to this one. I believe the next three boxes are all like that one in terms of quality. Look, I'll take it out because it's reflecting quite a bit. Look at the border on Nazassian this side. Amazon and look at the border this side so it's, it's definitely off center definitely not a, uh, not a 10 potential 9 I don't know what the boundary constrictions are box number 5 of the case was a 9 hit box kind of disappointing nothing really stands out here but if we look at it seems Zamazena and Zacian are the only ones that are pretty bad again left hand side is way bigger than the right hand side it seems Jirachi. That's your right. I'll go over the overall quality of the amazing rares at the end. Mm. Final box of the case, another nine hit box, and also nothing that sticks out particularly. And again, with the two amazing rares, you can see. I'll do it like this. You can see. You can see both of them at the same time. The left side of both of these cards is way thicker than the right hand side so 
I opened these boxes, the last three that I showed you first. So I was thinking, holy crap, all of the cards are gonna be off center. The, the print quality isn't all there. But, but the uh, second case we opened saved the day because the amazing rare centering on those is really good. Total amazing rares we've got out of two cases are three Celebi, three Jirachi, four Zacian, three, six Zamazenta, four Rayquaza, and four Raikou. So what's that? Three, six, 10, 14, 18, 24. That's exactly two per box, so can't complain with that. Although I would have liked take one of each of these and put them there and it would be perfect four of every one but it's not too bad pretty even distribution shame the one that we got the most of was the least valuable but it's all good because the centering seems to be on point Rikos is a little hard to tell because they're both yellow, but it seems to be pretty good quality as well. Seems only that one Zashian was bad quality, the other three seem to be alright. Jirachi as well, it seems just that out of those three boxes, because this one here has got the, the lowest border, the other two seem to be pretty on point. Kind of hard to tell with six of them, but yeah, most of them are good, except for that, those, these two here in the center. Yeah, it seems like the print quality is actually not too bad. It's, it's better than I thought it was. I thought I had a lot worse centerings on these. The card quality is amazing. It's just the centering. Celebi seems to be doing pretty good. So we're gonna go start with Aegislash. Slash. We've got three regular Vs, two V Maxes. We didn't get any of the full arts, or we didn't get any of the rainbows for Aegislash. Slash. So we've got five of the Ampharos V and one of the full art. There is no V Max and there is no Rainbow for Ampharos. We've got three Colossal V, one of the full art. And we actually got five of the Colossal V Maxes. No Rainbow, so it's still missing a Rainbow. But that, that was one of the most hit V Maxes that I got. Moving on to all Beetle V, three V Maxes. Well, loads of Vs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Orbital Vs. Zero of the Full Art and zero of the Rainbow Rare. Now, for the first one, we actually got one of everything up Galarian Dark Manitan V. Five of the regular Vs. Three of the VMAXs, two full arts, and one rainbow. Goddamn lighting, man. It's a rude V. We only got four of the Vs, none of the full arts. There is no rainbow, there is no um, VMAX. Silent Flame V, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another quite common one. We've got zero of the full art, there is no V Max, and there is no rainbow. Got one of the Surfetch V full art, there is none of the others, so that's not too bad. Got one Drapion V full art, and three of the regular Vs.
Got two of the Alakazam V for lot. None of the others, so it's all good. On to the Pikachus, we got three, six, seven Vs and two V Maxes. We didn't get any other full art, we didn't get any other rainbow, which is kind of annoying because the rainbow is the hardest one to get. Most sought after one as well. Steelix, we got three, six Steelix V. None of the full art, there is none of the other two. Now, final Pokemon one, or the regulars. Five Togekiss V. Six Togekiss V Max. None of the full art. And one Rainbow Rare. Now, onto the full art trainers and secrets. We got one Beauty Full Art, one Beauty Rainbow. We got one Ness of Rainbow, no full art. We got one Alistair full art, but no rainbow. We got one Opal full art, but no rainbow. We got one Leon full art, one Leon rainbow, which is pretty awesome. And then for the secrets, we got one Oranguru, Cape of Toughness, and Galarian Obstagoon. So we only got three gold cards out of 12 boxes. So one in four is your estimate. We've got five rainbows out of 12 boxes, so five out of 12. Full art cards we did pretty all right in. We did uh, 12 total full art cards, including the full arts and the full art trainers. So we've got one full art per box, roughly. For these, we got 56 total. So just over four a box is what the expected rate is. And for V maxes, we got 21, so it's 1.75 a box. And out of all the cards, we're missing 21 unique cards. So, it's not too bad. We're going to see how it goes when we sell all the duplicates and see if we can buy the rest of them or open some more product. Uh, 